Hi there, my name is Anjali Raworth and I am a children's author. I'm the author of two books, one called The Boy at the Back of the Class, the other one called The Star Outside My Window, and I live here in East Ham, which is of course in Newham. And it's where I've been through this pretty historical period of the world's history. I've been here in East Ham writing um, away on a third book and also working on behalf of two of my charities, one called the O's Refugee Aid Team, which tries to help first aid responders uh, who work with refugees in Calais and Dunkirk and the other one called Making Herstory which works to help women and children fleeing abuse here in the UK. Now it's a pretty special day um, because we are seeing the end of a pretty special month. It gives me splendid honour to be part of the New Heritage Month um, and today is of course the 30th of June which sees the end of that festival and a culmination of events that have seen people celebrating making a home right here in Newham. Now making a home in Newham is something I know a little bit about. I moved here when I was just nine years old with my parents who decided to move here because of the fantastic schools. Um, I went to Nelson School here um, in East Ham and then on to Langdon Secondary School which is now Langdon Academy and I had some of the best years of my life at those schools. Now the most um, special memories that I have here um, of Newham is number one the library. Uh, the East Ham Library in the old town hall was one of my favourite places to hang out and I, I hung out there until I was well into my teens. Um, every Friday and Saturday my mum would take me to the library to get books out um, and to ensure that I could continue on my reading adventures and I don't think I'd be a writer without that library. Um, and the second memory has to do with school. I had some of the best teachers uh, here in East Ham and um, they influenced me and continue to inspire me uh, in my career and in my uh, journey as an author. Now, talking about schools and how fantastic they can be, I have had some pretty special questions sent to me by some human uh, hearts in um, Park Primary School in Stratford and these are the questions right here. So I'm going to try and answer all of them. Right, let's see what we have. First of all, we have Issa Member who is in year four. He asks, do you just write books for a living? No, I wish I could just write books for a living. Um, I have lots of little jobs here and there. I think most authors do um, because unless you're very, very lucky, I don't think you can, um, you know, unless you become a really massive author, uh, having a living just from your books can be quite hard. Um, so I work for lots of other charities um, as a bid writer. I also um, have my two charities um, and I do lots of bits and bobs here and there uh, to try and make a living. Right, Doan Raza who is in year four. How did you get inspired to help people in Calais and Dunkirk in refugee camps? Doan, that is a brilliant question. Um, I was inspired in 2015 um, by the story of a little boy called Alan Kurdi. Now, Alan Kurdi was a three-year-old Syrian boy who was trying to run away from the wars that have been raging there for far too long and still um, is going on. And um, he was trying to get to somewhere safe and unfortunately he died on his journey. Um, now, Alan was my wake-up call and he has been the wake-up call for lots of volunteers that I have met over the years um, because on seeing his story, I was inspired to try and help refugees far more than I had been and it also led me out to going to Calais and Dunkirk um, where I've been trying to go ever since. So I have Alan Curdy to thank for that um, and even though his uh, story is so sad and so tragic, he has ignited um, millions of people around the world into doing so much more um, than they would have done. Um, Ishak Alam, who is in year five, asks, why do you think that seeing orphans homeless inspired you to write your books? Um, I have to say, I don't know if all the children that I meet in the camps are orphans. I think that most of them do have family. It's just that they've been split from them or they're trying to get to safety without their family, which is really, really sad. Um, there are, of course, some orphans, um, but they tend to be looked after uh, by professional agencies, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, and those that I see who are traveling, who are a little bit older, they might be uh, 11, 12 and above. Um, they are, of course, amazing, amazing hearts. And of course, they inspire me to want to help them and if one way um, that I can help them is through my books then I will of course uh, continue to do that as much as possible. 
Um, Dean Wassell from Year 4 has asked, why did you write a book about refugees? Now I have to say it wasn't really my plan to write a book about refugees. I didn't go out to the refugee camps thinking, oh one day I'm going to write a book about this. Um, I happened to meet some pretty phenomenal, not just refugees but also volunteers who help refugees, um, who made me want to write uh, The Boy at the Back of the Class. So um, although I didn't intend to write about them, the refugees inspired me to write about them. And I think the reason why I wanted to do that is just to see if I could perhaps help other people understand that actually being a refugee is really lonely and scary and that they deserve to have friends um, who will help them. So yeah, lots of reasons for why I ended up writing a book about refugees. Um, Angela Bankpopper, I hope I've said that right, um, in year four, Oh, sorry, it's Angel. Hello, Angel. Um, Angel um, has asked, uh, do you have any friends that are refugees? Um, yes, I do. I have uh, lots of friends who are the descendants of refugees. Um, so, for example, I have wonderful Jewish friends whose families fled um, here during the Second World War. Um, so they're family members are refugees. I have wonderful uh, people in my um, in my friendship groups who are refugees and of course making friends with people in Kellen and Dunkirk have um, made them my friends too. So yes, I do have lots and lots of friends who are refugees or who are descendants of refugees. Um, Mary Maurice Williams in year five has asked, why are you so passionate about refugees? Um, I think I'm pretty passionate about anybody who needs help and I uh, would hope that everyone is. Um, I think refugees um, get some very bad press. I think the fact that we have uh, newspapers and radio stations and television uh, channels who don't even call them refugees, they call them migrants, they call them um, horrible um, names, they try and make it out uh, they try and make refugees out to be people who are trying to grab things and take things when really these are people who are running for their lives um, and trying to find somewhere safe to live um, means that I will always be passionate about them and I will always be trying to help them however I can in my very own small way. Um, Sienna Dunn uh, in year five has asked what inspired you to write The Star Outside My Window? Oh Sienna thank you so much for asking that question. Um, what has inspired me to uh, write The Star Outside My Window, uh, which is a story about um, a young girl who's on the hunt for her mum's star. Um, I have met lots of amazing children in the women's shelters that I work with, or I hear their stories. Um, and I think hearing those stories makes me want to ensure that we put an end to those stories. I think it's so unfair that people are having to live with um, abuse at home. I think it's unfair that uh, people who are survivors don't know where to go for help um, and that actually we don't talk about it enough. I think we need to be able to talk about um, uh, things that Anaya uh, goes through in the book and who reflects children who really are going through all of those things. I think we need to talk about it. I think we need to try and understand it and try and put an end to it. So um, yeah, again, lots of reasons for my wanting to write the star outside my window. And last but not least, Hassan Mahmoud in year four has asked, since the coronavirus has started, have you stopped visiting refugee camps or do you still go there but social distance? That's an amazing question to ask Hassan. Thank you so very much. Um, I have to say that following uh, the coronavirus epidemic, a uh, pandemic, sorry, um, and the closing down of the borders, I've not been able to get out to the camps at all. And it has really, really um, made me quite anxious and upset. I've been wanting to get out for a very long time and I can't wait for the borders to fully open um, and for the world to be safe again um, so that I can head out. Um, we still have teams on the ground in Kelly and Dunkirk. So the Mef Mobile Refugee Support Team, the Refugee Women's Centre Team, uh, Maison Sesame, who I work with, with, um, who are all in France, um, they are all still there working. These volunteers are absolutely phenomenal human beings. They've stayed out there, they've not come back home even though they had the choice to um, in order to help refugees and I'm so proud um, to know them and to support them from where I am right here in the UK. I wish I could go. Um, I did think about going even literally a day before the borders closed but it was too much of a risk and I need to keep my own family safe as well um, and also don't want to spread anything um, post coming back from the refugee camp so I need to be very careful um, so no I haven't been able to go back out but I hope to do so very very soon anyway that's everything from me I hope that you have a very 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 um, safe 30th of June I hope that you are all um, 
loving uh, Newham. I know that I love this uh, place, uh, even though there are things that drive me crazy sometimes, like the traffic. Um, I absolutely love um, the, the place that I call home, and I hope you do too. I wish you um, happy reading adventures, and if you would like to buy The Boy at the Back of the Class and Star Outside My Window, Newham Bookshop, um, who are absolutely phenomenal and have been ha helping with all my book orders and keeping me um, reading throughout this whole period, um, have books available for you. I'm going to wish you a huge and warm um, happy uh, Newham Heritage Month and leave you with all my love and so does Simba and so does Snowy. Mwah. Bye!